y'all, and welcome back to another fun Discover e-engineering challenge. Today's feat is called Safe Landing. You must design a lander that includes a cup or a container with a ball inside that can be dropped from a height of at least one foot and land upright with the ball still inside. And no, you cannot cover the top of the cup to keep the ball inside. That's cheating. So how do we go about doing this? First step, you must identify the problem. There are two things you are trying to do for this challenge. The first is to slow the descent of the lander as it drops down. Think like a parachute. The second step is how can you absorb the energy of the impact? First think of shock absorbers. They are used to absorb the energy of impact when gravity slams something into the ground. Springs are good shock absorbers. Your next step is to collect the materials. There are several materials here, like small pieces of cardboard, small cup, either paper or plastic, a small ball, scissors, tape, a plastic bag, string or yarn, index cards, straws, cotton balls, rubber bands. If you don't have all the items that you need, uh, don't worry about it. Improvise. For instance, if you don't have a ball, make one out of tinsel. Or if you don't have a cup, you could use cardboard or you could use a paper towel roll. Be creative. Next, you brainstorm ideas. How can you slow the cup's descent? How can you soften the cup's landing? Then you're going to build. Take your design and put it together. Take photos as you go along to track your progress. Keep a list of what you are using. When you are finished, make a prediction. Will your lander stay upright at a one foot drop, a two foot drop or more? It's upright! Woohoo! Do you have to revamp your design? Don't worry about it. It's the engineering design process. You come up with an idea, you design, you build, you test, sometimes you have to revamp. Engineers have to do that all the time. Be sure to record your results and have fun! Bye!